In this video, I'm gonna explain how most coding jobs are gonna be replaced by AI, and honestly, it actually already started. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of this thing called ChatGPT. It's made by the same company that created Dolly, and unless you've been living under a super deep rock, then you probably have heard of Dolly. Dolly is this crazy AI that generates these really impressive images, and it's winning art competitions over humans. So ChatGPT is like that, but for chatbots. It's the most advanced AI to ever exist. You can have a normal conversation with it. You can get it to explain concept topics. You can have it write a recipe. I got it to give me some pretty good gift suggestions for my dad for Christmas. There's really no limit to what you can do with it. People are really just starting to understand its power. But what's even crazier is people are using it for code reviews. Someone even got it to pretend to be a terminal and then they fed it commands to create files and it remembered where the files were and what was in them. It hasn't even been out for a full week and it already seems like it's probably going to replace Google search in a, in a year or two. What's even crazier is it can write huge chunks of code. Let's take a look. Let's ask it to make a React component. I want it to have a logo in the left corner and then person icon in the right corner. When the person icon is clicked, a drop down pops up, displays three options. Option one is a button called account, two is a button called blah blah settings, and three is a button called sign up. Let's see what it does. So it's explaining what it wants to do. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. It's actually using React Bootstrap. Oh my God. When I set this up as a test, it was using a class component and it was just making it like basic, ugly stuff. It's already trained enough that it can start using React Bootstrap since I planned this video like two days ago. Wow. What if I say like, hey, can you write that as a, as a class component? Sure, here's the same React component, but written as a class component. It remembers what I was talking about before. Holy shit. Okay, so that's kind of scary. What if I said, can you rewrite that class, but don't use React Bootstrap? Let's see what it says. It remembers I wanted it as a class. It doesn't use React Bootstrap, and it just writes the code to do it. <laughs> We're out of a job. This is weird. Uh, this is not cool. Well, it's too cool, I should say. Look, it's even being nice to me. Okay, so for anyone that follows this channel, they know I hate this zigzag conversion problem on LeetCode, it's LeetCode 6. Let me just copy and paste it in, see what happens. I don't even know if the spacing will work. Wow. It's even explaining the solution to me. It's giving me examples. It's commenting the output. Am I dumb if I don't understand that? Bro. It's nice and it's a programmer. This is replacing us. I'm gonna copy and paste the solution in just to make sure it works. Paste it into lead code, let's run it. Accepted, let's submit. I didn't even provide it all the examples. Accepted. So job interviews are broken. Okay, so you might be thinking like, this is cute, it's solving lead code problems, but can it actually replace my job? So let me ask it to do something that I might do in my normal job at Microsoft before I left. How do I rotate a certificate in Azure Key Vault? This is one of those things to keep your service running. Rotate a certi uh, certificate in Azure Key Vault, do the following steps. Sign in, go to the Key Vault in which the certificate is stored, click certificates, find the certificate you wanna rotate. Like, this is, uh, this is all true. Like, this is exactly how you can do it. It's even telling you from the CLI. Okay, let's try one last thing. Let's see if we can replace a senior engineer. If I wanted to create a clone of Tinder, what microservices would I need and what would their function be? You need an authentication service. You need a profile service for user updates and storing information, a swipe service, a match service. Okay, let's ask it what machine learning algorithms we might need. I'm just gonna say for that and let's see if we can remember. Let's see. There are several machine learning algorithms you might use for the dating apps service Tinder. Collaborative filtering, make personalized recommendations to users, natural language processing, analyze users' profiles and messages, computer vision, analyze photos, reinforcement learning. <sighs> like that's, that's the job. This isn't gonna replace everybody's job, but this will mean that you need to have significantly fewer developers working on something. And they're creating new versions of this technology every day. So it's only getting better, like rapidly. Is there a way to fight this? Well, on the interview side, the answer is simple. We need to do in-person interviews. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm not sure we do wanna fight this. If we can make people significantly more effective at their jobs, then it frees us up to do other things and be more creative. Ultimately, ChatGPT and Dolly are created using data created by humans. The more creative the data is, the more creative the, that AI can be. It's a win-win. What do you think about this? Comment what you think below. I read every single comment.